Hello everybody and welcome to my first jailbreaking video with the Apple TV second generation. Um, if you had never seen the Apple TV 2G, they call it the hockey puck. It's a great device, small, you know, it sits on your, your uh, next to your TV really nicely. So this is a great device to have. I, I'm telling you, there's a lot of tutorials online jailbreaking these guys, but there's no true way to do it. I've tried every tutorial. I've always run into an issue one way or another, either with an issue jailbreaking it, issue with getting it in DFU mode, or an issue with restoring it on iTunes. I'm going to go ahead and show you the step-by-step -step method that I've you know, devised myself. This is not like any tutorial you've ever seen on the web, and this is guaranteed to work for you every time. Um, today I'm going to be using an iMac. Um, you can do this also on Windows machines. But today, let's go ahead and get started. First things you will need, uh, hardware-wise, you're going to need your Apple TV 2G, the power cord. You're going to need a micro USB cable. Um, if you have any newer cell phones, you're definitely going to have one of these guys laying around. If not, you can pick one up at any uh, computer store or online for about seven, eight bucks. Um, also, you're going to need the Apple remote that came with the uh, Apple TV. So let's go and get started here. Um, first we're going to do is that we're going to need to download some software. And the first thing you're going to need to use is a program called uh, Season Pass. Now there's a newer version of Season Pass. And unfortunately if you want to run Xbox Media Center, I wouldn't suggest using the newest version of um, Season Pass. Go out there online, type in uh, Season Pass for... 4.2.1 and this is where I found my copy which is on a site called techbolt.com scroll down to the bottom down here and I clicked uh, uh, season pass jailbreak tool which in turn put it down here in my um, download files so I'm able to use that later so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that once you're downloaded there um, next thing you're going to need, you're going to need the IPSW, which is the file that uses to install software onto your Apple devices. So you're going to open up a Safari application. Now say Safari, don't use Explorer, or if you're using a Windows machine, go download Safari because Safari will only download with the extension IPSW. If you download on Windows, you'll get a zip file. It doesn't quite work the same. So in your search box, type in IPSW, hit enter, it pops up. I a web page here by Flexi Burns. I go and hit that. This this will pop up. Click on here. Now there's two Apple TV 2Gs. One's a AC154 and one's an AF202. The one you want to download to get a untethered jailbreak is the 4.2.1 AC154. So you go ahead and click that. Starts to download. You know, I already have mine already, so it's already downloaded for me. And go ahead and close out of that. Okay, now we have all the software we're really going to need to get going. Of course, if you don't have the newest version of iTunes, go and make sure that it is the newest version downloaded, which you can go to your there and you know um, do a update that way. So we're going to close out of there for now. Okay, so now we got that done. We're going to go to our downloads and find where we put the uh, season pass which would be in my download somewhere. Let me find it. There it is. So I click on Season Pass. Now this pops up. Now normally, if you will just hit click Create IPSW, it will go online, it will find the newest software, which is the 4.3, download it. Um, 4.3 is great software, but Xbox Media Center won't play videos. And if you want Xbox Media Center, which is a very powerful tool, you're going to want to down, uh, install 4.2.1. So what you're going to have to do is go and hit your Apple key, or if you're using a Mac Windows, hit your Shift key, and you're going to click on that, and that will open up this panel here. Normally, you know, if, if you clicked on it, nothing would happen, and so we're going to find the file that we downloaded, which is the 4.2.1, the AC154. Make sure, make sure you don't get the AF202. So we're going to open up the 4.2.1. I'm going to click open. And now it begins the process of unzipping it and installing and injecting all the software that goes along to it. So we're going to go ahead and...
pause here. We'll be right back. <laughs> 